Which do you like better, Mjolnir or Stormbreaker? Why not both? Let's take a look at LEGO number 76207, Attack on You Asgard, from the latest Marvel movie, Thor, Love and Thunder. This LEGO set is the budget offering at only $19.95 on Amazon. And being a budget kit, it is only about 159 pieces. And most of that is spent on this goofy looking monster. I don't think this monster even made it into the actual movie, but I can't be sure as the scene where this was supposedly present was fairly dark. This shadow monster is definitely better in person than in pictures. It goes together easily enough and the height relative to the minifigures makes it fairly imposing. The little claws and tentacles are well articulated which means posing is a breeze. There are 4 stickers in the whole kit and they all go to this guy. This set comes with 3 minifigures, Thor, Thor, and Gore. That sounds like a fun sitcom. First is the minifig based on Christian Bale's long awaited appearance in the MCU, Gore the God Butcher. The front and the back of the torso is printed. The face features bright orange eyes with a disconcerting smile. His skin is the color gray, which adds to the overall creepy factor. Gore also wields the Necro Sword, the only sword capable of one-shotting the gods. Next is our regular old Thor, who wields the jealous Stormbreaker. The prints on both the torso and the legs look great. The print appears on both the front and the back, but you will have to remove the included cloth cape to appreciate. Comes with two faces. The first one is the regular slightly smiley face. It perfectly recreates the expression on Chris Hemsworth's face from the trailers. You know the one I'm talking about where Star-Lord is looking at his crew and then uh, Thor's face uh, slowly slides into view. <laughs> the other face is the God of Thunder version, complete with glowing electrifying eyes. Last, we have Mighty Thor, also known as Dr. Jane Foster, who was chosen by the previously broken but now made of glowing flying pieces, Mjolnir. Like other Thor, the prints are nice and she also comes with the same fabric cape. Mjolnir in Lego form looks kind of plain here. I was hoping they would include the crack lines, but that might not have been worth it for them to do. She also comes with a helmet, but not a separate hairpiece, which is disappointing. She also has an alternate face where she is only slightly more annoyed. So are you Team Mjolnir or Team Stormbreaker? Comment down below. And if you want to purchase this LEGO set, check out the links in the description. Okay, it's time to finally give out the scores for this kit. Box art. As fun as it was seeing Thor, Thor, and Gore juking it out on the box, I really did not like the shadow monster. It's not like it was part of the movie or even if it was, it's not very recognizable. It's just not cool enough in my opinion. It needs to be about 20% cooler. Sorry. 3 out of 5 stars. Quality. Lego is Lego. And build experience was enjoyable, even though it was really short at only about 20 minutes. I like how the monster goes together, but again, I don't really like the final look of it. The prints on the minifigures were great. I love that they included the cloth cape pieces, and the alternate face for Thor was nice. 4 out of 5 stars. Likeness. I am scoring only the minifigures here. The smiley Thor face was great and he really looked like the face Thor pulled in the trailer. It's nice to see both Mjolnir and Stormbreaker in Lego form, though I would have liked to see lines all over Mjolnir just to differentiate this version. Gore looked scary in the movie and that translated well here. The Necro Sword though looks like a generic black sword. 4 out of 5 stars. Price to value. 1995 USD, 3 minifigures and 1 monster build. It is cheaper based on LEGO pricing but I don't think the value is there. The build just whizzes by and it's not like the shadow monster is interesting enough to be displayed. 3 out of 5 stars. Overall score. I did not expect much based on the price but somehow it still ended up slightly below my expectations. If you want minifigures of the two Thors and Gore then this might be a good buy for you. The included shadow monster is a bit meh. 3.5 stars out of 5. If you like LEGO Thor Love and Thunder, check out this other video I made about the LEGO Mech Wolverine.